idioms. Do you have any? I do, actually. Uh, at Industrial Light Magic, whenever we were working on a model that required a lot of detail and yet was still ugly, we referred to the process as <laughs> polishing. So the myth is you can't polish. Exactly. That one's been around forever. I've heard that all over the place. I got a wrinkle, though, because the network has instructed us that we're not allowed to use the word Can we say <laughs> Of course not. But to set your mind at ease, we can say feces, manure, guano, dung, waste, scat, doo-doo, poo-poo, and poop. Pedants that we are, we've put common idioms to the test before. We've dared to question the culpability of bulls in China shops. They're very careful of the break in China. The trouble with finding needles in haystacks. And the ease of shooting fish in a barrel. I think he's still squirming. But this just might be the toughest task of all. So where are we going to start with this poop polishing? Well, I think we're going to need the widest possible array of dung that we can find. A veritable smorgasbord of fecal matter. And then see if there's any specific kind we can get to take a high polish. OK, let's get at it. From here, the best place to find a truly broad selection of dung is the San Francisco Zoo. Well, we're just about to go into the barn containing a bunch of giraffes, or as we on Mythbusters like to call them, the large herbivore savanna-based feces production units. And hopefully they're going to have some special packages just for us. But you can't expect something for nothing, so the boys come bearing fruit. We've got some breakfast here. This girl refuses to take Adam's banana. No surprises there. Jamie has better luck. She's beautiful. And breakfast begins its magical transformation into manure. OK, now you've eaten. Let's see the other stuff. It's a rare chance to frolic with the wildlife. But Jamie knows they're here on uh, business. He's like, what the hell are you doing? I'm going to is it okay? Can I get some? <laughs> so it turns out the giraffes are really efficient at extracting the nutrients they need out of the food they eat. Unlike things like elephants and other herbivores that live in the same environment that are basically like cows, the way they process, the giraffes extract every last little thing, hello, out of the, out of the food. And uh, that's why you end up with this dense little nugget, which tells me that it might be better material for us to work with. But giraffes aren't the only donors. Grizzly dung. Let's go get some. Armed with scoops and buckets, they need to steal the scats of a bunch more species to give them the best possible chance of busting this myth. If one stool won't take a shine, another might. So there's no bears around here, I take it. Hey, Jimmy, over here. Oh, man, this stuff is soft. It's kind of like meatloaf. I know I shouldn't be surprised, but it smells terrible. You know the worst part now? I got a niche on my nose. The grizzlies get set free as the boys move from stink to stench. Warthogs. Oh, right out of the gate, I see we're in luck. Look at that. <laughs> Holy, that's a lot of poo. <laughs> oh, wait, look. Oh, it's all in a string. It's like it could be a necklace. Oh, we yeah. just have to polish it up. They race to secure the manure from half a dozen more animals, including lions, rhinos, and koalas. I think we got everything we need here.